Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is January 1st, 2015. Happy New Year's, everyone. Today we're going to take a look at this magazine cover for the world in 2015, The Economist. On our channel, we show how this symbolism is all around us, and that even a person putting all of these things together will not quite realize what's going on as the spiritual realms control everything. As you can see right here, this whole cover here is actually going to show the New World Order coming. To get to the facts first, let's go right down here and show something. See these arrows? This represents the giant earthquake that is going to hit the USA, the 11.5 and 11.3. This also is the time of what's known as a rapture event, or what's called in the Bible, actually, Jesus calling his wise virgins to him. He does not take all Christians with him. The parable of the ten virgins must be fulfilled. Five of the wise Christians will go with Jesus Christ because they have their oil. See castrol, which represents oil, right here. And then the five lukewarm Christians must go to the Great Tribulation and prove themselves and become Tribulation Saints to keep spreading the Word of God. It's all a perfect balance in the Bible. The Bible is centered around Jesus Christ and the woman. You see the woman over here in gold? This represents the woman of the Bible that not many people even know about. It's an actual woman spirit. Revelation 12 this is an actual woman standing on top of the moon. It's not the church on top of the moon. Let's put it this way. One of the things that we've, we've done over the last several years is realize that when we show all of these things and go by the Bible, most critics have never even read the Bible or have just read parts, and they will like to start debates. I show this woman. Most people will go, it's just a church. Well, that means that everybody who argues that that woman is the church does not know that every single church is represented by a spirit and an angel. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. You see this? A church is not a church unless it has one of the angels. And there's only seven. There's not eight. There's not nine. There's not ten. There's only seven. And the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Each and every single one of these churches in the seven churches in the Bible is represented by an angel. An angel. A spirit. One of the seven spirits of God. See there, all of these different ones? So there you go. Only this one is caught away. This is the only church that's told not to repent. And is told, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Jesus Christ sends the new world order. That's another thing people don't seem to realize. Jesus Christ will be running the apocalypse. Yes, that's what's going to happen. Jesus Christ will have Satan at his feet doing all of the things, but Jesus is going to let it all happen. It's, it's his testing coming upon the earth. Now that we got that out of the way, we can realize here that this woman is an actual spirit. She is being caught away. Do you see the oil here? See how it's going from the foot of Obama to her feet. Do you see all the sand right here? This means down near San Diego, as I keep showing, the great earthquake that's coming. Just as on this glyph. Remember, Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. See this individual coming right here, the fifth angel with the V like a clown? And he comes with this new Eucharist. He goes through Obama and betrays the USA. See this large nuclear event? And it represents the millstone cast into the sea. Here is that jet, that castrol. See this phoenix rising? By these two domes by the San Onofre power plant. And then Russia and the ten nations rise up and begin the new world order. See, even down here worshipping this idol, 
doing the mark of the beast on this man's head, giving out this new Eucharist, it's all right there, right in front of us. This is all right here. Here's the great earthquake, the 11.5 to an 11.3 earthquake is coming that will destroy the USA and begin the new world order. We escape only the wise virgins. See the jet? See the oil going from here to there, from his foot to her foot? It even represents in the Bible when Jesus Christ's foot is bruised, his heel is bruised and the serpent is bruised. Now Satan is on the earth. Obama. The woman is in heaven, exactly as scripture says. The woman is granted the wings of an eagle, right here. See there, boink, this represents all of our souls also down here, and her giving that new Eucharist out. Now this is the new world order. Here's Obama. He will be inside of a host. Prince William and them seems to be the host that his spirit will be in. See him here? Now he's doing as above, so below. See the hand? As above, so below. He has the Cheshire Cat here. Now here's his new world order. His right arm is Putin and Angela Merkel of Germany. This is the New World Order coming with the Pied Piper. China will be rising up with India, I believe, is who this gentleman is with. Do you see how we have over Britain? They're going to go broke. See here? This catastrophe is coming. See the bank is coming out of their pocket. See the nuclear war starting. This is all the time of Jacob's trouble coming and when the finances go. See here, now when's the dollar drops, as you will. But you can see the nukes going on over here, up over the top. Now you have up here, this is supposed to be the moon, but it's actually the earth. You have the earth on this side. See the land part? And then you have the part in the blue over here where he's really unhappy. In the Bible, the red is going to rise for 42 months. See the red? See the red with Singapore over here? Red rising? And the blue will go through a time of trouble. It's called Jacob's Trouble. But you can see here the great earthquake, the, the oil for the virgins to be caught away, and then we end up over here. This is a big one right here, guys. The Pied Piper. And then down here you can see the clownfish. See the clownfish? And he's tricking people. The clownfish sits inside of a poison aminophobe, or whatever it's called, this little plant, meaning poison. The Russian Orthodox Church is going to rise up, because the Vatican is going to be hit. This earthquake and everything, and the nukes that will fly, the USA will be hit, and the Vatican will be hit. And then the Jesuits move over with the Russian Orthodox Church, and they start giving out that new Eucharist with the Mark of the Beast. See the new Eucharist blending the two halves? Do you see where he has his pipe? Right down to Putin's hand, like he's holding the new Eucharist right here. And here's the new statue of the New World Order down here. You can see Britain with its guitar going through the, the USA here. Britain is, is, is one of the most evil places on the earth, guys. They, they want this New World Order. They want the USA destroyed so they can rise up with this New World Order thing. See there? Now you have over here panic coming. See, this is the national debt, Federal Reserve. See this dropping? The dollar is falling. All the way down to here, we're green light. And now they can kick the football. See the football on the tee? This football means nukes. That's what footballs mean. Now the red rises, and this is what I'm trying to show everybody, is that you, as a Christian, you can't stop this, because this actually has to happen. As a Christian, I need Jesus Christ to get his job done, and God to do their job, and to get this new world order going on. Listen to what I'm saying. It isn't that I need Satan to do this. As a Christian, I want Jesus Christ to start the new world order, because I need this battery. See this? And I'm blue. I'm Jacob. That's my side. But I need this new world order because I need these guys who didn't go with Jesus Christ to power me. See this? They are going to be made to worship at my feet. 
You see how I need these guys now? I need the new world order. I need to go to heaven. Then I need Jesus Christ to come down here and bring his vengeance and make all of these people worship at my feet. Did you know that? The Church of Philadelphia. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. You see how I keep saying that you can't stop the new world order? Jesus Christ, even if he lets Satan do it, does it, needs to get this done. Because we need all of these guys that are junk in the trunk and didn't want to go with Jesus. They need to be our battery. See, now they're nothing but a battery. See how the battery is right by the feet? See, the red is now worshiping the blue. As I've said before, the New World Order is a great trick. They are all going to be tricked, 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 tricked. And then we're going to shove this thing on their face. See this Oculus Rift thing, as I keep showing, where they're going to be made to worship the image of the beast. Yes. So do you see who really needs the New World Order? Us Christians who believe in Jesus Christ. We need Jesus Christ to bring the New World Order. Because then we can go to heaven and have all these guys worship at our feet. And they will be our power for heaven. Isn't that wonderful? Now let's show this here. This is the big thing about this great earthquake coming. See that right there? And then we have proof of this new Eucharist right there with the Russian Orthodox Church. Please point out everything you see here. I can't point out all of these different things through here and, and all. I mean, right here they're blending the red with the blue when they do this in the New World Order. Up here you can see Napoleon right over the top of Putin through this. I mean, is this Genghis Khan? We have the, see the woman here with this thing on her head with the eggs? This represents the phoenix rising in the new nest, exactly as we showed in the United Nations. This mural hangs in the United Nations. See the phoenix right here rising after this big nuclear event. On this side, people go through this cabinet to heaven. On this side, the red, they come down and they begin riding the white horse and the new world order begins. See the blue goes to heaven, the red comes down here to earth to begin the new world order. Same thing as here. See this turtle over here with this whale going up and the woman being caught away as ten nations run the world for those 42 months. See the turtle? See the oil? See the woman caught away? See the giant nukes with the arrow? Just as we shown on this glyph too. See right here on this Dendera chart? If you look right about here, you'll begin to see Obama. If not, realize he is this Pharaoh. Right here is Jesus Christ casting down the accuser. There's the woman with the arrow. And there's the phoenix rising. And Obama is being revealed as the man of perdition. Right there. Then the great sword for World War III. But see the woman with the arrow? With Jesus? This is when Jesus' foot is bruised. In the Bible. I mean, there's the arrow, there's the turtle, there's the oil, there's the woman, there's the sand for San Diego. Uh, it's just on and on and on. This is really just like perfect for the New World Order coming. There is your New World Order with the red rising. In the Bible, it says that the red and these ten kings will rule for one hour. That one hour equates to 42 months. And then all of this is destroyed. All of this by the seven last plagues. He is tricking everyone. This is another thing I've noticed. People seem to think that that any anybody who goes with Satan will be tricked. Anybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There's the new Eucharist with the Pied Piper. It's poison. Here's the red rising. They will be our battery. There's the turtle, meaning the end, the oil. Here is the great earthquake coming when Jesus Christ's foot is bruised and the head of the serpent is bruised. And we escape. This is only for the wise virgins. And the woman is caught away. Do you notice that it is the woman looking over here like this is a great big circus? See her looking? She's like all of the circus is ready to go. Happy New Year, everyone.